Okay, so today I'm going to show everyone how to sync up their saves from RetroArch to Windows. First off, you're going to have to start off on your computer and go to syncthing.net slash downloads. You're going to come down here and you'll see there's a Windows version and a Mac version. I'm going to be installing Windows today. Once it downloads, you're going to click up here and install it and you should have a website that looks exactly like this. Now let's switch over to iPhone. First off, you're going to make sure that you have RetroArch downloaded. The best thing to do is to start off with a fresh install of RetroArch. You're going to open up the app, and first off, you're going to go to Online Updater, and you're going to update all these important files. Once all those are finished updating, you're going to go back into the App Store, and you're going to look up something called Mobius Sync. This works with sync things, so it'll link to your computer. It might be a couple bucks, but I think there's a free version. You're going to download it and open it. Now at this point, I'll admit I forgot to include this clip. On your Windows computer, you're going to want to make sure that you click on the identification code, and you'll get a QR. On Mobius on your phone, you're going to go to Add Device, and you're going to click Scan QR Code, hit Allow, and then scan the code. I'm not going to show you all what my QR code looks like. Now I'm going to click on Add Folder on Mobius, and I'm going to go down to Pick External Folder. I'm going to navigate through files to my RetroArch folder. On this folder, if you don't have a ROMs folder, click the three dots on the top right, and you'll be able to create a new folder, and you'll just name it ROMs. Then continue to navigate back to the save file and click open. You'll get a little warning. You're going to click sharing and you're going to make sure that you're sharing it to your computer. Now back on your Windows device you'll get a pop-up and it'll ask you if you want to add that folder. You're going to hit yes. You're going to come down here and navigate to where it says Folder Path, and you want to make sure that you open up the, your RetroArch save folder, and you copy the address that's on the very top. Now you can close out of this and paste it where it says Folder Path. Once you get done with this, all you'll do is hit Save, and everything you do on your phone will be backed up to your Windows version.